This winter, my family and I, we've been working on building our very own Trio 120 from the ground up with no prior building experience. And today in our video, I want to talk to you about the two dormers that we added to our Avram house. My name is Rob and this is our Avram home. When we were designing our kit, uh, we started talking with the designers about the ability to add dormers for added space. And so we've chose to add two. One of them is gonna be for a bedroom for the kids. The reason why we've added the uh, dormer to their bedroom is because there's a good chance we're gonna to wanna to add a bunk bed to that. And by putting in a dormer, we're gonna increase the ceiling height so that we can actually put a bunk bed and not worry about the slope of the A-frame impeding that. And so we've added just the standard uh, dormer there. It will extend out to the edge of the, of the house and then come straight down in line with the edge of the actual A-frame. Uh, just to give some extra headroom for the bedroom there. On the opposite side of the house, we've added one where we're going to have our front entryway. And we're doing that so that we actually have room for winter jackets and boots and coats. And when people come into the house, uh, they're not just walking in the front door and then it's our living room or something like that. We've lived in situations like that before. We really want to have a front entryway in this house. And so what we decided to do is not just to put a standard uh, normal size dormer, but to actually extend it an additional six feet, uh, making it uh, just a proper front entryway. And so uh, we, these are the two dormers that we've added. Um, if you're thinking of designing a, a kit yourself, uh, there's other options that you can consider too. We've seen people where they extend that dormer and use that for their kitchen. So they have room for their counters and their fridge and all that stuff. And we've also seen a few designs where it's a double wide dormer. Uh, not just a double long, but a double wide spanning two trusses. Um, so there's different options to, to consider when it comes to actually adding dormers to your to your build but the, the point is I would recommend adding them uh, so that you have that extra floor space and head space in certain uh, parts of the house I decided that I was gonna build our bedroom dormer first because it was the smaller one and it just seemed like it'd be easier for me to get done and so what I did is I set out all of the lumber for that dormer on the concrete slab and assembled the wall I then tried to lift that wall into place and realized it was going to be far too heavy for me to do by myself, but thankfully I still had our telehandler on site. And so I just picked it up with the telehandler, moved it to the outside of the house, and then using our quad, which has a winch on it and the use of a ratchet strap, I just dragged it up over top of the beam of that dormer. And then with Katie's help, I pushed it away and we had added some two by fours to just brace it temporarily in place. I then came back the next day and added the ceiling components and the roof components and made sure that the wall itself was perfectly plumb, uh, which means level in a straight up and down uh, manner. Made sure it was perfectly plumb, added all those ceiling, ceiling pieces, and then added the horizontal pieces onto the sides of the dormer. Uh, those were held on using these metal brackets and what was basically just like a two by four sitting on top of them, uh, holding it all into place. That feels good. So that is the first part of the house that is like, like I, if I had a checklist, I could, I could check off bedroom dormer because that dormer is now ready for the, uh, for the house wrap. Once that dormer was done, uh, we then moved on to the front entry one. And I actually had a friend uh, who, he, when he was here helping me do some of the framing, he assembled that wall, same thing on the slab. And when I went to install it, I actually had a friend on site, which made it a whole lot easier. Uh, this front entry dormer, the wall is, is larger because it's further from the house. Uh, it's a taller wall. Uh, anyway, we worked on that one together. We used the tell handler, just like before, to carry it out of the house, off the slab, and to position it on the outside of the building. And then, using some ratchet straps, we lifted that wall into the air, uh, almost like you would if you had a crane on site. And then, uh, but my friend, he positioned it while I lowered it down using the telehandler. And same as with the other dormer, we used some two by fours to just brace it so that it was in a plumb position. Once that was all plumb and supported, I then got started on working on the ceiling components of the, of the dormer.
After the ceiling was installed, I moved on to the two side walls of the dormer. Uh, on one of them, uh, we have a plumbing stack where we're probably going to be putting our laundry machine. And so I had to cut out some notches on the bottom plate of that wall. But what I did, rather than building them uh, on the ground and standing them up, I knew that I wasn't going to have enough room. And because of the shape of it, where the, the bottom portion of the wall is only six feet, but at the top it's like 12 feet long, I knew that would be almost impossible for impossible for me to stand up by myself and so I just framed it all in place I believe it's called balloon framing uh, where you just you, you build it uh, standing up rather than lying down and so I balloon framed those two side walls and once those were both done I moved on and finished up the, the roof parts of the dormer and before I knew it both of our dormers were fully assembled Once they were done, it, I could feel that the house was, it was really starting to come together on that main level. I could see the front entry, I could see the bedroom, and it started to be actually like, it would make sense in my head how the house was actually going to feel on the inside. Well, that's how we assembled our two dormers for our house. I want to encourage you to like and to subscribe if you actually appreciated this content. And I want to encourage you to follow along because we've got a lot of house left to build and we are documenting every single component of it and we want to show you just how we are uh, doing this, building our very own Avram Trio 120 from the ground up by ourselves with no prior building experience. My name is Rob and we'll see you next time.